G'day, Turbo Tristan here. Welcome to the next episode. Today, we'll be tackling body work. Hey guys, so I just wanted to take a little break from the sanding. One, because it's really boring and tiring, and two, just to show you my progress. Now I'm far from finished. I'm just using some 240 grit uh, just to get most of the clear off. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to see the high and the low spots in the paint, because even though you may have some dints that are clearly visible, some might not show through it on first inspection. You can see it's a little shiny on the body line. I didn't want to go too hard there because I didn't want to take that line off. Um, we just really need to get the clear coat off so that the paint and the primer will stick. But you can see here where I've done the uh, bashing of the guards. This little shiny spot was already there. So that's a dint that I'll have to fill as was this one. And you can see the by the whirls here on the arch where it's silver back to bare metal. That's where it's high. So um, when I cover this over with the bog and smooth it out again, that should be all perfect. It's only going to be you know less than a millimeter worth of bog in certain spots. This was one of the only dents. On the driver's side, there's a little one here on the body line, and then this one here you can see. Oh, there you go, another one there. As you've just seen, it's taken me forever to sand the clear coat off this boot lid. Now it was totally different to the clear coat on the green car, uh, this one coming off a gold coloured car, so very very different clear. I'm not sure if it was something to do with the metallic or whether it had extra layers on it, I'm not sure, but it was impossible to get off, but it's all smooth now. I'm sure panel beaters will roast me in the comments because I'm sure I looked like I was doing something wrong. This is only the first initial sand, 240 grit, and I'm just taking off the clear, smoothing everything out. The car's going to get primed, then it's going to get wet sanded again before we even think about putting paint on it, because I want to make sure I do a really good job of this. Um, but yeah, all the clear coat's off now, except for that bit. No, oh, she's gone. I won't bore you with sanding the whole car, because time lapses can be pretty boring. I want to bring you some really good content that's going to show you uh, exactly what I've done and how I've done it. If anyone's got any suggestions, please drop them in the comments section below. 
I'm always happy to learn new things. So please, let's help each other out. Doesn't cost anything to be kind and help someone. So yeah, I'd appreciate some feedback. Thanks.